How's it going people? This is Fuzzy Tech here with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a 3D planet completely inside of After Effects and it's going to be also easy. Uh, the main thing that I want to show you here is to how you can create and get off those polar issues that are generally generated in it. So there's a few way you can do it. It means an easy way, you not a few way, but it's an easy way you can do it. So let's simply start off. What we're gonna be doing is first of all we're gonna be creating a texture. Uh, if you would know that uh, project by video called Pilot, then you can simply create the texture by yourself. So I'm gonna be naming it one. Let's make it 1920 by 1080, and I'm gonna be naming it that. Oh come on, right. spell it texture. Uh, T That's gonna be for tutorial. So we're gonna be out here, and now let's make it fit. We're gonna move to over to new, make a new solid, or you can simply press Control plus Y for a new solid option. And let's make it, uh, for example, small or whatever you like to type. Oh, sorry for just delete it. Press Control plus Y and fill more. We need to increase the resolution. Make it five thousand by five thousand. Okay, and that's gonna be a too big. For the rectangular size, so once you do that, just simply right-click on it, go to pre-compose, and move all attributes, and also click on this adjust the duration to the lifespan. So like eight layers. Let's make it texture, and now here we are with full resolution. So let's go to fit, and let's go inside texture, and there you go. So let's rescale it. Now if I go to fit, uh, now that's pretty much okay, that's what we need to do. Or maybe you can scale it out a bit because we need something really big. So let's make it fit. Now all here you need to do is go to layer, go to effect, go to noise and grain and uh, uh, the fractal noise. Then you can type it here, effect and preset, fractal noise and let's put some fractal noise into it. Also make it dynamic to, oh, dynamic progressive. Uh, soft linear make it inward and we're going to be increasing contrast let's make it right or maybe a bit more right around here let's decrease the brightness a bit uh, not a bit but a lot more increase the complexity to get details in these let's make it eight it's pretty much good and that's going to be okay and also you need to go to evolution option and let's give it a random seat uh, that generally gives uh, different ways and out those and I'm going to make it to 550 or whatever else and out here what you need to do is to make the planet animate I'm going to click on the evolution and I'm going to move right over 10 seconds and I'm going to make it like 4 maybe I don't know okay, let's see how it works Wait one second. okay that's working pretty much that well the way we want it so I do think we're working on here and let's make another new solid let's press into plus y make it middle whatever you want go to effect get a fractal noise pick put on it make it basic basically try to make progressive soft linear inward and here we need to do is to decrease contrast to few just a few lot most of that there are a few particles left in it okay then we're gonna increase the complexity to 10 and let's Key on evolution or right on start. I mean, maybe I did it on complete backward. Let's make it right around here. And out here, we need to type in three or whatever your choice, it doesn't matter. Make it a random seed again. Maybe 190 is enough. I'm gonna increase the contrast a bit more. I'm gonna decrease the brightness a bit more just so that it goes well. Uh, also, toggle switches and modes and make it add. So we get all these stuff background also. So let's make another layer. This will be final. I type in main or whatever you want. I misspelled it. <coughs> Sorry. So here's what you need to do is to again get some fractal noise, make it dynamic, progressive, soft, linear, inward, and decrease increase the it around like and so make it to twenty. I'm gonna increase the brightness to five let's make the clipping to uh, the complexity to 615 i think 15 is pretty good and also let's go ahead over to evolution and i again made it on last 
I'm gonna make it to front or right around the front frame and make it three or whatever it be your choice. It doesn't matter, okay? And again, put some random seed into it and also make it add. Add the generator is pretty much good, but what we need to do is to lower down the brightness for this. I'm gonna make it to one. One doesn't serve, so just decrease the brightness of it so far. Okay, that's that's what we need. That's what pretty much what we need. Uh, now it's animating the way it should. It's pretty much going. If you're not getting, you won't get any final renders. You can simply go ahead over here and get click on adapter resolution. Okay, so there's one more thing for you need to do out here. I can tell you what really happens if you don't do it. If you go to our main composition, what we're having right down here. We can go to texture, type in. I recommend if you don't want to get into this tutorial, you can use Element 3D that pretty much provides good result. I'm gonna telling just telling you, but right now in this tutorial, we don't want to use any third party plugins, so we'll be going up with CC Sphere. Let's type in SPHERE Sphere. Uh, we'll go to star CC. Where does it go? That's what Sphere looks like, right? Yeah, I type the same maybe because of spells. Okay, let's make another and if you go here and well, maybe I'm just gonna zoom in, maybe I'm gonna increase the radius for a bit. Wait a sec. Okay. So if I set the radius to 300, half to full. So here's the complete render and it looks pretty much cool that the way we want it. And uh, let's create a new camera first. Make a camera and click OK. So if we turn it around. Yeah, that's a 2D layer. So you see, it doesn't matter. On so now we'll work. Uh, this one we need to do is go to texture. Just click on the evolution, close it. it doesn't look good. So if you see, that's a 2D layer. It doesn't work on it. Now, if I go to treat it on 3D, you can see it's a 2D layer. But we don't want it to be 2D. We want it to rotate according to what our camera does. So here's what we can do. Uh, first of all, make it as it is. Not try not to make it 3D, or it's gonna be worse at it. Just simply go to texture, go to rotation, and there are some few expressions that you can use. So first of all, you need to right alt click on the clock and right around here, down below, click on it. So I can get some few space. Uh, here's what we need to type. Type in value. V A L U E. Oh, come on, that could be much good. Type value plus. Uh, now here we are looking at. Look, look. It does point at the camera. The camera we're using. Look at. Open parenthesis. Type in this comp, which means this composition. Dot active camera. Yeah, me are right. The active camera points right around here. You can see the active camera is camera one. Dot P O S I T I O N position. Uh, I spell it P O S I T I O N position. Do, uh, and make a comma. I make a dot not comma and type in S I T I O N. I have given these down below in the description. Check them out later if you don't wanna just simply type in and type zero. Zero means rotation X and means the X rotation of your fronted camera. So type in, oh, do not press enter. <laughs> Just simply click anywhere else. So what we can do is to copy this. Go down below to X rotate, Y rotation, click Alt, increase it, press, press V and replace the zero with one. Again, okay. Similarly, go to Z, increase the space, type V and right here, type in two. Uh, do make sure that you start with a zero. Do not start with one out there. Now here's the we can get. You see our spheres is rotating as according to camera, but there are a few problems that we're getting is the polar issues. Now, for solving the polar issues, here's what we can do. Go over to texture and select all these. And again, we gotta, I'm gonna make it to half res. We're gonna make Pre-compose them or whatever we just click on this and move over to which a new composition. Let's make okay And you can head over to the another composition where all your layers are, but we need to do work here So here's what you can do First of all click on the first layer Ctrl plus D or you can go to edit and click on duplicate for duplicating the layer just simply press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and What we need to do is to click on the pre-comp 2 or any layer you want 
select it, hold the upper key and invert it. I mean like this. Okay, now type in polar coordinates and hide the first one. Put it this and polar to react rectangle and we're gonna increase it to complete hundred percent. Now go to the other one and here's what we need to do is type in we're gonna get the same one. Pull our coordinates and get this. Make it hundred percent. And maybe I should have used that. Oh, this looks good. It suits to me. I'm gonna increase it a bit. And I'm gonna move it upward like and so. And for the other one right around here, you see the upper one. What we're gonna do is to use a linear wipe. And type in wipe. Let's see if we can get linear wipe. A linear wipe, go right back there, make it complete zero and do not keyframe it, we don't want it to keyframe. Let's make the angle to zero because we don't want it to go through here, we want it to go straight up down. Now increase the linear wipe up to a point you can see where the texture matches. It matches on 51 for me or maybe 52, okay 50, make it to 50, oh, 50 only. And you see this line, what we're going to do is to increase the feathering. Okay, the feather now merges it completely. Now, once you have this texture ready, what you can do is to go over to tutorial, it uh, means I mean, right around here, and let it render for a while. And you see all those stuff is gone. You're going to get a seamless, complete, cute looking sphere. So it's all gone. You can use those, uh, they are given below in the description, whatever we, the expressions. And what you can do is to go to main, uh, for example, for uh, typing in, type in fill. Take the fill right down here, make it red or make it any way you like it, like ice planet or anything. I mean right around here is pretty much good. Let's decrease the opacity to, um, I don't know, 50. Not 50. I mean 80 would be pretty much cool. Now if you go back, you're going to see a sphere. Completely good to render. You can animate it, change it the way you want. Uh, for more details, for example, what uh, Star Trek looks like, you have seen, I do hope that you have do seen it, <laughs> it's an amazing movie. And for getting renders like those, you need to use Element 3D. I do uh, encourage you to use Element 3D, that's pretty much good. But if you want to create planets and else stuff right in After Effects, so this is the only thing you can do it. Or the only way you can do it. It's all perfect. You don't have any solar problems. Uh, the polar problems. Oh, I said solar, sorry. Polar problem now because they're one of the most main problem faced in CC Sphere. So that will be it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's Frosty Tech signing out.